In mathematics, the Fréchet derivative is a derivative defined on Banach spaces. Named after Maurice Fréchet, it is commonly used to generalize the derivative of a real-valued function of a single real variable to the case of a vector-valued function of multiple real variables, and to define the functional derivative used widely in the calculus of variations. Generally, it extends the idea of the derivative from real-valued functions of one real variable to functions on Banach spaces. The Fréchet derivative should be contrasted to the more general Gâteau derivative which is a generalization of the classical directional derivative. The Fréchet derivative has applications to nonlinear problems throughout mathematical analysis and physical sciences, particularly to the calculus of variations and much of nonlinear analysis and nonlinear functional analysis. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Definition. Let V and W be normed vector spaces, and U V display style U subset V be an open subset of V A function f. U W is called Fréchet differentiable at x element of U display style x in U. If there exists a bounded linear operator a v w display style a v to w such that lim h zero f x plus h minus f x minus a h w h v equals 0 display style lim underscore h to 0 frac f x plus h f x r underscore w h underscore v equals 0 the limit here is meant in the usual sense of a limit of a function defined on a metric space see functions on metric spaces, using V and W as the two metric spaces, and the above expression as the function of argument H in V as a consequence, it must exist for all sequences H n n equals 1 infinity Display style Langle H underscore N Wrangle underscore N equals one carrot in T of non zero elements of V which converge to the zero vector H N zero Display style H underscore N to zero Equivalently, the first order expansion holds in Landau notation f x plus h equals f x plus a h plus o h Display style f x plus h equals f x plus a h plus o h if there exists such an operator A, it is unique, so we write D F X equals a display style df x equals a and call it the Fréchet derivative of f at x. A function f that is Fréchet differentiable for any point of U is said to be C1 if the function D F U B V W X D F X 
Display style DF U to B V W X Mapsto DF X is continuous. Note that this is not the same as requiring that the map D F X V W display style df x v to w be continuous for each value of x display style x which is assumed bounded and continuous or equivalent this notion of derivative is a generalization of the ordinary derivative of a function on the real numbers f r r display style f math b r to math b r since the linear maps from r display style math b r to r display style math b r adjust multiplication by a real number in this case df x is the function t f x t display style t maps to f x t topic properties a function differentiable at a point is continuous at that point Differentiation is a linear operation in the following sense, if f and g are two maps v w which are differentiable at x, and r and s are scalars two real or complex numbers, then r f plus s g is differentiable at x with d r f plus s g x equals r d f x plus s d g x. The chain rule is also valid in this context, if f, u y is differentiable at x in u, and g, y w is differentiable at y equals f x, then the composition g o f is differentiable in x and the derivative is the composition of the derivatives d g f x equals d G F X D F X Display style D G circ F X equals D G F X circ D F X Topic Finite Dimensions The Frechet derivative in finite dimensional spaces is the usual derivative. In particular, it is represented in coordinates by the Jacobian matrix. Suppose that f is a map f u r n r m Display style f u subset math b r caret n two math b r caret m with u an open set. If f is Frechet differentiable at a point or element of u, then its derivative is d f a r n r m D F A V equals J F A V Display style begin cases DF a math B R carrot N two math B R carrot M DF A V equals J underscore F A V end cases where J F a denotes the Jacobian matrix of F at A. Furthermore, the partial derivatives of F are given by F X I A equals D F A 
E I equals J F A E I Display style frac partial F partial X underscore I A equals D F A E underscore I equals J underscore F A E underscore I where A is the canonical basis of R N Display style Math B R carrot N Since the derivative is a linear function, we have for all vectors H element of R N display style H in math B R carrot N that the directional derivative of F along H is given by D F A H equals I equals one N H I F X I A Display style DF A H equals sum underscore I equals one carrot N H underscore I frac partial F partial X underscore I A if all partial derivatives of f exist and are continuous, then f is Frechet differentiable and, in fact, c1. The converse is not true. The function f x y equals x2 plus y2 sin x2 plus y2 minus one half x y does not equal zero 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 x y equals zero zero display style f x y equals begin cases x caret two plus y caret two sin left x caret two plus y caret two caret minus one half right and x y and e q zero 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 and x y equals zero zero end cases is Frechet differentiable and yet fails to have continuous partial derivatives at zero zero display style zero zero topic Example in infinite dimensions One of the simplest non-trivial examples in infinite dimensions is the one where the domain is a Hilbert space H display style H and the function in interest is the norm so consider H R Display style C D O T H to Math B R. First assume that X does not equal zero. Display style X N E Q zero. Then we claim that the Frechet derivative of Display style C D O T at X Display style X is the linear functional d display style d defined by d v equals v x x display style display style d v equals left langle v frac x x right wrangle indeed x plus H minus X minus D H H equals X X plus H minus X X minus X H X H equals X X plus H 
minus x x plus h x h equals x x x plus h x plus h minus x x plus h 2 x h x x plus h plus x x plus h Display style frac x plus h x d h h equals frac x x plus h langle x x wrangle langle x h wrangle x h equals frac x x plus h langle x x plus h wrangle x h equals frac langle x x wrangle langle x plus h x plus h wrangle langle x x plus h Wrangle carrot two x h x x plus h plus Langle x x plus h Wrangle. After expanding the numerator, it simplifies to x x h h minus x h two. Display style Langle x x wrangle Langle h h wrangle Langle x h wrangle carrot two. Thus, using continuity of the norm and inner product, we obtain lim h zero x plus h minus x minus d h h equals 1 2 x 3 lim h 0 x x h h minus x h 2 h equals 1 2 x 3 lim h 0 x x h minus x H x H H Display style lim underscore H to zero frac x plus H x DH H equals frac one two x carrot three lim underscore H to zero frac Langle x x wrangle Langle H H wrangle Langle x H wrangle carrot two H equals frac one two x carrot three lim underscore H to zero left Langle x x Wrangle H Langle X H Wrangle Left Langle X Frac H H Right Wrangle Right The first summoned obviously tends to zero Display style zero as H zero Display style H to zero For the second X H display style Langle X H wrangle also tends to zero and X H H display style display style left Langle X frac H H right wrangle is bounded by X 
Display style x because of the Cauchy Bunyakovsky Schwartz inequality. Thus the whole limit is zero. Display style zero. Now we show that at x equals zero display style x equals zero the norm is not differentiable ie there does not exist bounded linear functional d display style d such that the limit in question to be zero display style zero let d display style d be any linear functional. Riesz representation theorem tells us that d display style d could be defined by d v equals a v display style d v equals Langle a v wrangle for some element of h display style in h consider a h equals 0 plus h minus 0 minus d h h equals 1 minus a h h display style a h equals frac 0 plus h 0 d h h equals left 1 left langle a frac h h right wrangle right in order for the norm to be differentiable at zero display style zero we must have lim h zero a h equals zero display style display style lim underscore h to zero a h equals zero we will show that this is not true for any Display style a. If a equals zero, display style equals zero. Obviously, a h equals one. Display style a h equals one. Independently of h display style h hence this is not the derivative assume a does not equal 0 display style neq 0 if we take h display style h tending to 0 in the direction of minus Display style a, i.e. h equals t minus a. Display style h equals t c d o t a, where t zero plus display style t to zero caret plus then a h equals 1 plus a greater than 1 greater than 0 display style a h equals 1 plus a greater than 1 greater than 0 hence lim h zero A H does not equal zero 
Display style, display style, lim underscore H to zero A H N E Q zero. If we take H display style H tending to zero in the direction of a display style a we would even see this limit does not exist since in this case we will obtain 1 minus a display style 1 a the result just obtained agrees with the results in finite dimensions topic relation to the gatto derivative A function f, u v w is called Gatto differentiable at x element of u if f has a directional derivative along all directions at x. This means that there exists a function g, v w such that g h equals lim t 0 f x plus T H minus F X T Display style G H equals lim underscore T to zero frac F X plus T H F X T for any chosen vector h in v, and where t is from the scalar field associated with v usually, t is real, if f is Fréchet differentiable at x, it is also Gatto differentiable there, and g is just the linear operator a equals df x. However, not every Gatto differentiable function is Fréchet differentiable. This is analogous to the fact that the existence of all directional derivatives at a point does not guarantee total differentiability or even continuity at that point. For example, the real valued function f of two real variables defined by f x, y equals x3 by 2 plus y2 x, y does not equal 0, 0, 0 x, y equals 0, 0 display style f x, y equals begin cases frac x caret 3 x caret 2 plus y caret 2 and x, y n e q 0 0 0 and x y equals 0 0 end cases is continuous and gatto differentiable at 0 0 with its derivative being g a b equals a 3 a 2 plus b 2 a b does not equal 0 0 0 a b equals 0 0 display style g a b equals begin cases frac a carrot 3 a carrot 2 plus b carrot 2 and a b n e q 0 0 0 and a b equals 0 0 end cases the function g is not a linear operator so this this function is not Fréchet differentiable. More generally, any function of the form f x y equals g r h phi display style f x y equals g r h phi, where r and phi are the polar coordinates of x y, is continuous and Gatto differentiable at zero zero if g is differentiable at zero and h phi plus pi equals minus h phi display style h phi plus pi equals h phi, but the Gatto derivative is only linear and the Fréchet derivative only exists if h is sinusoidal. In another situation, the function f given by f x, y equals x3 y x6 plus y2 x, y does not equal 0, 0, 0 x, y equals 0, 0 display style f x, y equals begin cases frac x caret 3 y x caret 6 plus y caret 2 and x, y n e q 0, 0, 0 
zero and x y equals zero zero end cases is Gatto differentiable at zero zero with its derivative there being g a b equals zero for all a b which is a linear operator. However, f is not continuous at 0, 0 one can see by approaching the origin along the curve t, t3, and therefore f cannot be Fréchet differentiable at the origin. A more subtle example is f x, y equals x2 y x4 plus y2 by 2 plus y2 x, y does not equal 0, 0, 0 x, y equals 0, 0 display style f x, y equals begin cases frac x caret 2 y x caret 4 plus y caret 2 sqrt x caret 2 plus y caret Carrot two and x y n e q zero 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 and x y equals zero zero end cases, which is a continuous function that is Gatto differentiable at zero zero, with its derivative being g a b equals zero there, which is again linear. However, f is not Fréchet differentiable. If it were, its Fréchet derivative would coincide with its Gatto derivative, and hence would be the zero operator, hence the limit lim x y 0 0 x 2 y x 4 plus y 2 display style lim underscore x y 2 0 0 left frac x caret 2 y x caret 4 plus y caret 2 right would have to be 0 whereas approaching the origin along the curve t t2 shows that this limit does not exist these cases can occur because the definition of the Gatto derivative only requires that the difference quotients converge along each direction individually, without making requirements about the rates of convergence for different directions. Thus, for a given epsilon, although for each direction the difference quotient is within epsilon of its limit in some neighborhood of the given point, these neighborhoods may be different for different directions, and there may be a sequence of directions for which these neighborhoods become arbitrarily small. If a sequence of points is chosen along these directions, the quotient in the definition of the Fréchet derivative, which considers all directions at once, may not converge. Thus, in order for a linear Gatto derivative to imply the existence of the Fréchet derivative, the difference quotients have to converge uniformly for all directions. The following example only works in infinite dimensions. Let x be a Banach space, and phi a linear functional on x that is discontinuous at x equals zero a discontinuous linear functional. Let f x equals x phi x display style f x equals x var phi x then f x is Gatto differentiable at x equals zero with derivative zero. However, f x is not Fréchet differentiable since the limit lim x zero phi x display style lim underscore x to zero var phi x does not exist. Topic: Higher derivatives. If f u w is a differentiable function at all points in an open subset U of V, it follows that its derivative d f u l v w display style d f u to l v w 
is a function from u to the space l v w of all bounded linear operators from v to w. This function may also have a derivative, the second order derivative of f, which, by the definition of derivative, will be a map d 2 f u l v l v w display style d caret 2 f u to l big v l v w big to make it easier to work with second order derivatives the space on the right hand side is identified with the banach space l2 v times v w of all continuous bilinear maps from v to w an element phi in l v l v w is thus identified with psi in l2 v times v w such that for all x and y in v phi x Y equals psi x y display style phi x y equals psi x y. Intuitively, a function phi linear in x with phi x linear in y is the same as a bilinear function psi in x and y. One may differentiate d. 2 f u l 2 v times v w display style d caret 2 f u to l caret 2 v times v w Again, to obtain the third order derivative, which at each point will be a trilinear map, and so on. The nth derivative will be a function d n f u l n v times v times times v w display style d caret n f u to l caret n v times v times c d o t s times v w taking values in the Banach space of continuous multilinear maps in n arguments from v to w Recursively, a function f is n plus 1 times differentiable on u if it is n times differentiable on u and for each x in u there exists a continuous multilinear mapper of n plus 1 arguments such that the limit lim h n plus 1 0 d n F x plus h n plus one h one h two h n minus d n f x H one H two H N minus a H one H two H N H N plus one H N plus one equals zero 
Display style lim underscore h underscore n plus one to zero frac left d carrot n f left x plus h underscore n plus one right h underscore one h underscore two l dots h underscore n d carrot n f x h underscore one h underscore two l dots h underscore n a left h underscore one h underscore two l dots h H underscore N, H underscore N plus one, right, right, H underscore N plus one equals zero exists uniformly for H one, H two, H N in bounded sets in V. In that case, A is the N plus one cent derivative of F at X. Moreover, we may obviously identify a member of the space L N V times V times times V W display style L carrot N V times V times C D O T S times V W with a linear map L J equals one N V J W Display style L bigger times underscore J equals one carrot N V underscore J W through the identification F X one X two X N equals F X one X two X N Display style F X underscore one X underscore two L dots X underscore N equals F X underscore one O times X underscore two O times C D O T S O times X underscore N thus viewing the derivative as a linear map. Topic Generalization to topological vector spaces The notion of the Frechet derivative can be generalized to arbitrary topological vector spaces TVS X and Y letting U be an open subset of X that contains the origin and given a function F U Y Display style F U to Y such that F zero equals zero Display style F zero equals zero We first define what it means for this function to have zero as its derivative. We say that this function F is tangent to zero if for every open neighborhood of zero W Y display style W subset Y there exists an open neighborhood of zero V X display style V subset X and a function O R R display style O math B R to math B R such that lim T zero O T T equals zero Display style lim underscore T to zero frac O T T equals zero and for all T in some neighborhood of the origin F T V O T W Display style F T V subset O T W We can now remove the constraint that F 
0 equals 0 display style f 0 equals 0 by defining f to be fresh a differentiable at a point x 0 element of u display style x underscore 0 in u if there exists a continuous linear operator lambda x y display style lambda x to y such that f x 0 plus h minus f x 0 minus lambda h display style f x underscore 0 plus h f x underscore 0 lambda h considered as a function of h is tangent to 0 lang p 6 if the fréchet derivative exists then it is unique Furthermore, the Gatto derivative must also exist and be equal the Fréchet derivative in that for all v element of x display style v in x lim tau zero f x zero plus tau V minus F X zero Tau equals F X zero V Display style lim underscore tau to zero frac f x underscore zero plus tau v f x underscore zero tau equals f x underscore zero v where f x zero display style f x underscore zero is the Fréchet derivative. A function that is Fréchet differentiable at a point is necessarily continuous there and sums and scalar multiples of Fréchet differentiable functions are differentiable so that the space of functions that are Fréchet differentiable at a point form a subspace of the functions that are continuous at that point. The chain rule also holds as does the Leibniz rule whenever y is an algebra and a TVS in which multiplication is continuous. Topic. See also Generalizations of the derivative Infinite-dimensional holomorphy Notes <laughs> <laughs>